so glad to see you. I'm so happy for you to join me on this funny video. You guys are all awesome. It's Kid Bombing here. Some of you recognised me already on the previous videos. I'm so happy that you enjoyed watching my all my videos. I'm so appreciative you guys. You guys are awesome. Okay. On this video, I'll be doing another reading of the Dis Disney storybooks. So, before we begin reading, I'll show what i got. I have got Sleeping Beauty. It's um, Disney's 1953 animated classics. That was such a good film. I liked Sleeping Beauty. Has any of you liked Sleeping Beauty in your childhood? I'm quite familiar. I like Sleeping Beauty. That's a good film. So, I like a Disney princess. It's Princess Hawara. And especially I do like Snow White, Seven Dwarfs as well. Oh, uh, so you can look here, you can see a logo. That's uh, Disney's Wonderful World of Weeding. Some of you quite, I think some of you might recognise it also. Right. Some of you have already subscribed to my channel. So don't forget to hit the, hit the bell notification. And do not miss out for brand new videos also. And this is really important. Make sure if you want to follow me on my social social media, there's a link, there's a social link down below for the video description. There is Instagram, Twitter and Pinterest if you're interested to support my contents. That would be fantastic. So let's begin reading to Sipping Beauty to you guys. Now, hope you enjoyed the video. Long ago, they lived a good king named Stefan. For many years, King Stefan and his queen wished and wished for the child. At, at last, they wished they come true. The king and queen named their daughter Hawara. The great feast was planned to celebrate the birth of a new princess. Everyone in the kingdom came to the feast. King Hubert with his, arrived with his son, Prince Philip. The two kings decided for one day Philip and Aurora would marry. That way our kingdoms will always be united. King Hubert told his son. Three good fairies came to the feast. Each of the each had a special gift for the princess. Aurora waved her wand. I'll give you a gift of beauty. My gift shall be the gift of sun, said Aurora. And my gift began Mary Revel. Suddenly a ba a blast of wind blew the castle doors open. A bright flame filled the room. Then the wicked fairy, Maleficent, appeared from the flame. You did not invite me to the feast, King Stephen, but I too have a gift for the princess. Maleficent pointed out at the cradle. Before the sun sets, on her 16th birthday, the princess will prick her finger on the, spindle, on the first spinner wheel. wheel and she will die. Seize that creature, shouted the king. But Beleficent disappeared in a cloud of smoke. Luckily, Mary River still had a magical gift to give. The good fairy could not undo the evil spell, but she could soften it. Mary River Waved her wand, sweet Aurora, she said, not in death, but just in sleep. For faithful privacy will we'll keep, for this London you shall wake, where the true love's kiss 
for a spell shall break. King Stavon had all the spinning wheels in the kingdom burnt. If they they are no spinning wheels, he told the queen, our daughter will be safe from harm. The three fairies knew Aurora still wasn't safe. Flora had an idea. The fairies would secretly raise the princess themselves in a cottage in the woods. And no magic. Flora told the others, then, but Everson won't never be able to find us. The fairies explained they planned to the king and queen. Regretfully, the king and queen agreed. That night, three peasant women left the castle with a small bundle. The three women arrived in, at the cottage nestled in, deep in the forest. We must never call her Prince, Princess Wara. Flora told the others her new name is Bright Wives. Sixteen happy years passed. Bright Wives grew into the lovely young woman. She did not know, did not know she was a princess, as she had never heard of fearful fairy. But Maleficent had not forgotten the princess. For years, her soldiers had searched the kingdom. At last, they gave up. We checked every cradle. They told Maleficent, fools, she shouted. You, you have been looking for the baby all these years. Maleficent turned to her pink raven. You're my last hope. Search for the maid of sixteen with hair of gold. Go and do not fail me. The raven flew off into the night. The next day was Boy Rose's birthday. 16th birthday. The fairies wanted to surprise her with a party, so they sent her out of a cottage. We need berries, Flora said. Lots of berries, added Flora. Don't hurry back, called Mayweather. The fairies set to work. Flora made a dress. Flora begged a cake. This, is, this dress looks awful, declared Mary Weather. The fairies needed a little magic. Meanwhile, Briarwise was sinning to the forest animals. She told them all about the prince she had met in her dreams. Nearby, Prince Philip was riding his horse. When he heard Briarwise sinning, the prince couldn't resist joining in. For a little while, they sang and danced together. What's your name? Prince Philip asked. Why, it's just then. Why Rose remembered that, was, that she was not allowed to talk to strangers. I have to go, she said quickly. When will I see you again? asked the prince. He had already fallen in love with her for I was. Tonight, I live in a cottage in the glen. She called as she hurried away. Back in the cottage, Flora had fetched her their wand, magic wand. She waved, at her, she waved her wand. Now, the cake was perfect. Flora changed the dress she made she had made into the beautiful pink gong pink shadow it shall be blue said may Ruffle. she made a blue dress pink shouted flora the fairies kept changing the dress from pink to blue and blue to pink pink and blue Magic dust flew everywhere. Maleficent's raven saw the magic dust flying out of the chimney. 
she had he had found the princess back he went to tell Maleficent just then Blywise returned to the cottage surprise Feveris shouted oh this is the happiest day of my life cried Blywise I've met the most wonderful young man He's coming here tonight. For Faveris could see she was in love. But that's terrible, said Flora. Why? asked Flywise. Faveris told Flywise that she was really Princess Horora. She had to return to her castle that very night. And she had to marry the prince. Aurora was very unhappy. She would never see the young man she had met in the forest again. Yet everyone in the castle was happy. King Stephen couldn't wait to see her to his, see his daughter, and King Hubert couldn't wait for her to marry Prince Philip. When they arrived at the castle, the fairies left to fetch the king and queen. No sooner had they gone than the magic, magic ball of light appeared. Aurora fo followed it up the stairs to the small room. Maleficent was waiting for her. With a spin wheel, Aurora had never seen a spin wheel before. She had reached for the spindle. Touch it, Maleficent hissed. Aurora touched the spindle and fell into a deep sleep. The three fairies had been searching for Aurora. They found her lying on the floor, fast asleep. The fairies placed the princess on the bed. She was... She will sleep until she is kissed by her true love. Huh, Flora. Perhaps she, he is a young man she met in the forest. He was coming tonight. Coming, she, he was coming to the cottage tonight. Remembered Mary Revel. Let's meet him there, said Flora. But first, let's put everyone in the castle to sleep. That way. No one know. Well, no. What has happened? The fairies cast a spell over the entire castle. Soon everyone was fell asleep. Prince Philip had already arrived at the cottage. He had decided to marry a girl he had met in the forest instead of Princess Horora. Maleficent soldiers were waiting for him. They told up the prince and brought him to the Forbidden Mountains. Maleficent told Prince Philip that girl in the forest was really Princess Aurora. She was sure he would never escape to wreak his sleeping beauty. But the three fairies realised what had happened. They sneaked into the dungeon and freed the prince. Take this magic sword and shield to protect you, said Mary Weather. The prince set off to rescue the princess. Maleficent tried to stop him. She raised an enormous hedge of thorns around King Stephen's castle, but Prince Philip hacked his way through the thorns. The evil fairy was furious. She transformed herself into a fire breathing dragon and tried to destroy the prince. Luckily, the magic shield protects him. Finally, the prince saw his chance. He threw the sword at the dragon's heart. That was the end of the dragon and the evil fairy too. The prince entered the palace yard. Everyone's sleeping. He raced 
up the stairs to the tower. He found Princess Robert asleep on the bed. As soon as she, he kissed her, Aurora's eyes opened. The spell had been broken. Everyone else in the castle wake, woke up too. The king and queen were very happy to see their daughter. And King Hilbert was ha very happy to learn that the prince and princess were in love. The three fairies watched as the young couple danced across the floor. I just love happy endings. Flora, Flo Flora, and Mayweather can have can have agreed more. Well, that's the end. I hope you I hope you loved watching me reading to you. I hope you, so. Um. I'm I'm glad you I'm glad I'm glad many of you had enjoyed watching me reading this this wonderful Disney stories of Sleeping Beauty. I bet you enjoy I bet you love it so far. I really appreciate you guys. And um hopefully I will do a next video soon of Read Aloud and So that's it for all guys and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit as well notification. And don't forget to see your upcoming future content. Also, you can look up um, if you want. To, if you're willing to support me on my social media is Instagram, and Twitter, and Pinterest. So if you you haven't seen it already for me in Troy, and you can also look up. And also, if you're interested, if you are happy, you can make a donation to my PayPal. Don't shout that should be. Absolute honoured and fantastic support. Okay, so um, thank you, thank you very much, and hope you hope hope you join this watching this video, and I'll see you on the next video.